When you've taught middle school as long as I have, you gotta, you gotta remind them of a couple things. Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're gonna do another real quick fun project. This one is kind of a summer thing, at least for me. Uh, let's get into some wood burning. All right, so for me, doing a wood burning assignment during the summer is a lot of fun, mainly because being in the South, I like to sit on the porch and just listen to the rain and just chill outside sometimes in the evenings. And with that, I can bring out a piece of wood, uh, use the old wood burner, a little outlet, next to my chair outside. One thing that I thought about doing a couple years back was the restroom pass that I use in class. I wanted to refine it and make it a little more, well, I don't like those little, those plastic rest, restroom passes. I think that's just kind of a, I think it's boring. Um, and having the wood burnt ones, I get to put my little two cents on it. I've got everything from a, one that says here, it says wash hands because when you've taught middle school as long as I have, you gotta, you gotta remind them of a couple things. Um, on the back, I've just started this. I'm gonna start working on this one. This is restroom. It just has the boy and the girl at the bottom. I think I had one that even had like good, clean fun on it. But making these things interesting is a lot more interesting for the students because then when they come to your room, it's another thing that they just find funky and it's cool and it's fun for them to talk about. Um, I'll Okay, two real quick stories. One, I did not do this. I'm gonna preface that. I did not do this. I had other teacher friends who did. Uh, one of them was even when I was in school myself, My one of the band uh, teachers at one of the schools that I was at, their restroom pass was a six foot long board with a key that was stapled to the top of it. I wish I have, I'm gonna Photoshop something together. Well, the, it should look, okay, Photoshop it. This. This is kind of what it looked like. And the kids would take that to the restroom every day if they had to go to the restroom. So it'd be hysterical to see a kid walking down the hallway with this massive plank board, uh, just trudging it back and forth from the restroom back to the band room. Um, filthy, probably disgusting, kind of funny, always. It's just, it was funny. Um, I'm not telling you guys to do that, but I'm telling you, get creative with some of these things that are in your classroom. I think it's more interesting that way. Uh, another one was somebody did use a toilet seat as the restroom pass. I really, really wanted to do this and I still want to do this in some form or fashion. I think it is hysterical. Um, but what they did was uh, they went to Home Depot or Lowe's or Home Improvement Store, purchased a, a clean, uh, an unused toilet seat, took off the hardware off of it so it was just like the, the lid and the toilet ring and they super glued those together, gorilla glued them, whatnot. So they were permanently fused and had restroom written on the top lid of the toilet seat. I'm sorry, but a toilet seat is your restroom pass. That's funny. I, I have twisted humor sometimes, but I thought it was hysterical. But a fun thing that you guys can do is grab some scrap wood. I use pallet wood on most of my wood projects that we have in class. Um, I'm next to uh, a big mail room area where they have uh, pallets of stuff coming in all the time. I'm kind of in a, it's like a warehouse districty area um, that I drive through and I've made connections. There's a framer here. I've got all free mat board for me and several other art teachers from a framing company that's not far from me. And, um, and same with the pallets. I'll go around and I'll talk to one of the managers or somebody who's there like, hey, can I get some free stuff? Sure, take my trash for me, I love it. And I will use that wood to make some of these designs on and we do this for skateboards, for the hallway pass. Had one student who made Andy's room, so Toy Story reference. Hang that above your door, put that above your blackboard, have it on your desk, make these little fun things just to go around. And, and it's something that we as artisans like to do. We like to make things, that's why we're artists. And having some free time to actually do it during the summer and just getting something knocked out is always a fun thing. Now again, I'm not taking a, a big amount of effort on stressing myself out on trying to make the, the most best piece that I possibly can. If you wanna do that, by all means. Me, I'm gonna use this as restroom pass. So having the design knocked out, I might go back and burn a little bit more around the edges. I definitely need to take sandpaper to it. The rough edge 
it's not finished and I'm aware of that. Uh, so I'll sand this down, sand down the little knot down here so it's nice and smooth. I have a palm sander that I'll just probably buff over the top of this. As you buff over the surface, so you will erase some of the burn marks. FYI, if, you, if that's an issue for you, probably want to sand it first. Me, I like to sand it after because it gives it that um, kind of like a distressed look. And I like having that in my pieces. I like having that like faded effect element. It just looks cooler to me. That's what I like to do. So I always burn first and then sand second. Again, my style. So not the way that you're probably supposed to do it, but I like it. So anyways, wrapping up quick class today just wanted to show something cool hope you guys got something fun out of today's lesson again nothing fancy schmancy or anything else we're just having some fun that's what we're doing during the summer this is a summer pd for me hope it's a little fun thing for you guys to do don't forget to wrap up the classes we always do don't forget to like subscribe i want to know why but share is like my new term for some reason so like subscribe share on all the various platforms want to get the message out there to as many people as we possibly can to educate the masses uh don't forget if you guys had a question comment or concern during today's class raise those hands in the comments below happy to answer those questions for my classmates as always i will see you guys next class until then later guys